Welcome to Colorado Inside Out Post Game, a special web exclusive production here on Channel 12. Let's get a quick take on the Denver Broncos announcing this week that longtime owner Pat Mullen will step down from regular duties to address his developing Alzheimer's disease. Current team president Joe Ellis will fulfill Bowen's CEO duties, and there are no plans to sell the team at this time. Its ownership is set in a trust by Bowen and intended to allow his family to own the team once they are ready. Patty, this uh, is, it goes beyond football, I think, for the city of Denver. Bolin obviously has made a huge impact in his 30 years in town. We have a stadium, we have a couple Super Bowl championships, and a sports owner that really changed the dynamic here in Colorado, specifically with Broncos. What do you think? Well, it, as Eric had mentioned on the show, it wasn't a surprise. I mean, people have heard about his illness for a long time, and you could tell by how he was setting up the way the Broncos are running that he was preparing for the future. But also, as Eric was comparing to, say, the Rockies owners, you begin to feel huge nostalgia for the Pat Bowen era, for the fact that he cared so much, that he brought John Elway here, that he made he fired the people when he needed to fire them, he put in the right coaches <coughs> at the right time, and he's put in a structure that will keep this team here and probably winning for the foreseeable future. David Cole from the, from the Independence Institute and DU Law School. Uh, Bowen's legacy obviously is with the Denver Broncos, but there's certainly a civic legacy when you look at the stadium and everything else. What do you think uh, will, will be the, the civic part of his legacy? Well, I'd say he's, he continued what the, the situation he came into, which was, was the Broncos, were a special part of, of Denver mm -hmm. in a way that, that many football teams are not in their local communities. And that's a situation that goes back almost to the very beginning of the Broncos as, as an AFL franchise in, in 1960 and under a number of different owners before Bolin. So kudos to him for continuing that. I, I would say I wish that he hadn't threatened to move the team to Los Angeles uh, in the 1990s as basically blackmail uh, to get the taxpayers to build a, a new stadium. I think that the model of what the basketball and hockey teams did, which is they're owned by ultra-millionaires and, and the players are millionaires and so they can pay to build their own entertainment facility. Um, just one point on Chris Christie we talked about on the show a little bit. I think it was unfair that the media didn't cover the reports of what hap was now come out on the bridge scandal, which was he did yell one day, but he yelled, close the fridge and people <laughs> thought it was close the bridge and that that's the whole source of the problem a, a common misconception uh, around yeah. here i'm glad this is the web yeah. exclusive production yeah. here at channel 12. uh eric um as a political analyst it, you've had to follow david for a lot of different things do your best shot with this one and uh Bolin's legacy and or any uh governor christie issues yeah as good as david's <laughs> analogy was on the show i mean that that goes in the hall of, of fame of non sequiturs as far as, <laughs> as far as i'm concerned I, I i start with the fact there's a sadness to this there was not a surprise but there's a sadness alzheimer's is such an insidious disease it affects a substantial part of the population and, and we wish the Bolin family uh, very well. I think I will. I appreciate the shout out from Patty, but I'll do a quick fact uh, correction. I think I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it was the Kaiser um, ownership that brought Elway here as a rookie, yeah, right. uh, and 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 then the transition from Kaiser to Bolin within a year or two after that. So if, if my Bronco trivia knowledge is correct, I think it was Edgar Kaiser who was actually the owner at that point in time. But uh, t to what's been discussed. You look at other owners around, and whether it's the Montforts locally with our baseball team, our completely underperforming, underwhelming baseball team, or even elsewhere in the NH, uh, NFL, you know, we could have Jerry Jones talk about all the money in the world and a, a team that is underachieved and that he thinks his role is not just to be the owner but to be something else. We could have Dan Snyder with the Washington team that shall not be named, who is uh, completely tone deaf, whatever one makes of that controversy. There are plenty of obnoxious owners around the sports world, and Pat Bowen has conducted himself honorably, and to that he, for that he deserves a lot of credit. Penfield Tate with uh, Greenberg Traurig, also a longtime state lawmaker. Uh, football, civic legacy, where do you come down on uh, Pat Bowen's impact in Colorado? Uh, you know, I, I think he's had a major impact in both respects. And as someone who's been a season ticket holder for over 20 years, I guess what I'd offer is the neat thing about him as an owner, it was obvious he cared. He cared not just about owning, he cared about winning. Mm -hmm. He spent money, um, sometimes lavishly, sometimes not wisely, but he was committed to, to getting 
a winning team for the, the people of the city of Denver and the state of Colorado. Eric and Patty are both right. Kaiser dragged God Elway from the Colts, but Bolin brought him back as um, general manager of the club, or assistant general manager after his playing days were over and John had gone off to do some other things. And, and, and I think, uh, you know, part of the testament is he cared enough that he fired the guy who won two Super Bowls because he thought that the team had declined, and that's rare in this mm -hmm. day and age. Um, he didn't hesitate to make those changes. Uh, Eric's right. Alzheimer's is an insidious disease. I think one of the positive things that may come from this is even as I read the stories about his announcement, you saw other stories mm -hmm. where people are talking about being on the verge, hopefully, of some breakthrough and being able to treat um, uh, the broader population who suffer from this disease. And given that on general, more of us are living longer, that's important because we'd, we'd like to, to, to be aware. So I, he's clearly been, um, I think, uh, an asset to the community, someone who I think is revered, and, and I think he's given a lot of himself um, and, and his time and talents to this community. And, and even though it's a sports team, the ripple effect has been greater than that. The, the Bronco Alumni Association, they do charitable work. The players do charitable work. And so I think he's to be commended for all of those things. And let's just hope that, um, uh, that, that he does well. I was certainly add to you made uh, many good points, but two that, that struck to me. You have an owner like Pat Bolin who was so interested in winning. I think that really endeared him to the hearts of Coloradans. The, the, that gets you through the, the, the lean times, the thin times. Well, sure. What's interesting is we talk about ego, except for the one episode with the mink coat on the sideline. <laughs> he was not a guy who ran around saying, look at me, look at me, right. look at me. I'm rich. I own a club. Um, like some of the other owners with some professional sports franchises. Uh, you ought, you rarely heard from him, and I think mm -hmm. until this story broke, we hadn't heard from him in a long time. Mm -hmm. So he put the team and in, in the quality of the product first. Well, and you're right, too, about the legacy, as, as tragic as his Alzheimer's disease is, and as it is for everybody who has it, if that becomes part of the headlines and part of the research and just a little more people are acknowledging about it, that could even bring even a bigger benefit to the community. So yeah. it's really a well-rounded story. That is all the time we have for Colorado Inside Out post game this week. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. For everyone here at CPT12.org, I'm Dominic Dizzuti. Thanks for watching.